A rude Hollywood screenwriter, a man undone by his high school sweetheart, a small role on The Big Bang Theory? Lance Barber has played a ton of roles beyond young Sheldon. Keep watching to learn more. One of the most prominent running gags in The Big Bang Theory involved Sheldon telling stories about his childhood in Texas. Sheldon's stories portrayed a group of dysfunctional, countrified Southerners. They couldn't be more different than the timid and analytical Sheldon. However, fans have now gotten a first-hand perspective of Sheldon's family with the spin-off series Young Sheldon. Sheldon sometimes described his father as a crazed drunk who used his wife's favorite cookware for shooting practice. However, Young Sheldon portrays him as a simple, blue-collar football coach who does his best for his family, even if he makes mistakes. The two versions of George Cooper Sr. don't always line up, but neither one is strictly bad. Actor Lance Barber makes the most out of playing George on Young Sheldon. However, George Cooper is far from Barber's only role. Throughout his career, he has played a number of other characters that may make George Cooper Sr. from Young Sheldon look familiar. Lance Barber has no delusions about his level of fame. Barber has been a career actor for over 20 years but has rarely held the spotlight. Instead, Barber has made his living playing a series of smaller roles. His earliest role was as a man in a coma on ER. Later roles included parts in Yes, Dear, What I Like About You, and Come to Papa. In 2014, Barber told the Battle Creek Inquirer, I was a character guy. I was heavy, I was likable, I guess. So I had the opportunity to play best friend guy to the lead guy. Despite his lack of mainstream notoriety, he still loves being an actor. I feel very lucky. As an actor, we all want more work and more quality work, but I have zero complaints. Being Sheldon's dad isn't Barber's only recognizable performance. Years before The Big Bang Theory debuted, Barber landed a recurring spot in one of HBO's most underrated series, The Comeback. The show was about an aging sitcom actress named Valerie Cherish. Valerie allows a film crew to document her return to show business. Like The Office and Arrested Development, the comeback reveled in creating awkward moments between its characters. On the show, Lance Barber played the role of Polly G, the showrunner of Valerie's latest sitcom gig, Room and Board. The two maintain an ongoing feud throughout the comeback and remain enemies even after the fictional sitcom is cancelled. Unfortunately, unlike The Office, it never reached a high degree of mainstream popularity. The show was cancelled after just one season. That is, until the comeback made a comeback. Over the years, the series had garnered a cult following on the internet. In 2014, the show was revived for a second season, reintroducing the main characters nine years later. In an interview with Bustle, Barbara called the show's return a dream come true. This time, Polly G is different. When we meet him in 2014, he's gotten clean following his addiction to heroin during the events of season one. He seems much more willing to work with Valerie instead of against her, though it isn't long before new tensions arise in their relationship. Aside from the comeback, the latter half of the 2000s saw primarily bit roles for Lance Barber. He had one-episode appearances in a variety of shows, including Joey, The Mentalist, Monk, and CSI Miami. In the 2010s, he showed up in even more series, like Grey's Anatomy, Key and Peele, How I Met Your Mother, Bob's Burgers, Brooklyn Nine-Nine, Blackish, and Faking It. His most recognizable role during this time, however, was as Bill Ponderosa in It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Like most characters in the series, Bill Ponderosa is a certifiable scumbag. Dilly D, miss me? Don't answer that. All right. Although Dee once had a crush on him in high school, he's a hedonistic narcissist in the present day. He cheats on his wife, abuses his kids, and is addicted to practically everything under the sun. He also briefly becomes Dennis's brother-in-law after Dennis marries and then divorces his sister, Maureen. Bill was last seen in season 13, where he's invited by Frank to attend the Super Bowl. So why would Barbara look so familiar to Big Bang Theory fans? Long before young Sheldon was announced, Lance Barber actually had a one-time appearance on The Big Bang Theory as a different character. Whenever you see George Cooper Sr. being a well-meaning dad on young Sheldon, you're also looking at Leonard's high school bully, Jimmy Speckerman. Speckerman shows up in 2011's The Speckerman Recurrence, which focuses on Speckerman's failed attempts to make amends with Leonard. Holy crap, man! It's good to see you! <laughs> you too. However, Speckerman doesn't actually have good intentions. He only apologizes to Leonard while drunk and then denies his actions the next day. Sheldon helps his friend Leonard stand up to the bully. He never seems to notice that Speckerman looks just like his father. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite TV shows are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.